Hello friends, I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I am going to discuss Coombs test and RDU test. Now, first, the Coombs test. The Coombs test is basically of two types. One is known as direct Coombs test, also known as DCT. Another is indirect Coombs test, also known as ICT. Now, the basic principle of Coombs test is to detect antibody. In direct type of Coombs test, we are detecting antibody attached on RBC surface. While in indirect Coombs test, we detect antibody in the serum. Now, the vacuity is used for this both type of test. The EDT vacuity is used for DCT because we want cells and the plane vacuity is used for ICT as we want to detect antibody from the serum. Now, indication for direct Coombs test are autoimmune hemolytic anemia, hemolytic transfusion reaction, hemolytic tissues of newborn and indication of indirect Coombs test are prenatal testing in ANC mothers and pre-transfusion testing to detect uh, unknown type of antibodies before the blood transfusion. Procedure for Coombs test first direct Coombs test as I earlier discussed the direct Coombs test is done from patient cells which is taken from EDT tube. Then the three times cell wash is done. After that the two drops of Coombs serum is added which is also known as AHG. Then after centrifuge and see under the microscope. If there is clumps present it indicates the positive Coombs test which is seen in hemolytic conditions like autoimmune hemolytic anemia. And if there is no clumps it suggests negative type of direct Coombs test. Now, for the indirect Coombs test, we have to take a serum which should be taken from plain tube or plain vacuity. Then, after that, the pool O cell added, and then we have to wait for 35 minutes. And after that, have to look for clumps. If it's present, then it suggests positive indirect Coombs test. And if it's absent, then we have to go for the second set of IC ICT, which in which the process is same as the DCT, 3 times cell wash, 2 drops of comb serum, after the centrifugation and then look for the clumps. If clumps is present, then it's positive ICT and if absent, it is suggests the negative ICT. This figure shows the principle of DCT and ICT as DCT already has detect, detects the antibody which are already present on the RBC while in the comb test detects the antibody which are present in serum by adding the pool O cell. Now, DU test. DU test is confirmatory test for RH negative blood in which DU is a minor antigen present in some individuals. They are called as DU positive. In this test, we have to take donor cell. After that, three times cell was, we have to add two drops of NTD. Then wait for 35 minutes and look for the clumps. If it's present, it is known as RS positive. And if it's negative, then go for the second step. Now in second step, we have to add two drops of Coombs serum. Then after we have to look for the clumps. And if the clump is present, it is suggest that the patient is DU positive. Why? If the clump, no clumps, the patient is confirm RH negative. Thank you.